Hi, it's another great day in Missouri. We're out in the Ozarks visiting Route 66. We're leaving Caffeyville. This is all that's left. The whole thing was torn down to make room for the interstate. We've got a little antique shop over there. So this road here is the byway. It's not the original Route 66, which is on the other side of the road here, but it dead ends and cuts over Interstate 44. So you gotta go on this road right here. Now we're headed into a little town called Phillipsburg. And on the way, we're gonna pass uh, some cool places to look at. Along the road, we're gonna find some fudge and chocolates. Here's our white cow from the stockyards. And if it's up here, it's gonna be a little boat dealership and then some little log cabin retreat on the left. That's the former Highlight Cabin Court built in 1932 by Lee Fenton. Used to have a Phillips 66 gas station here, small store, and that little uh, antique shop right there is just decorated with all sorts of license plates. Anyway, we're gonna head up another couple miles and see some cool stuff on the way into Phillipsburg. So right up here on these barns, there's this cool advertising. I wonder if it's still here, here we go. Merrimack Caverns, over there. Merrimack Caverns. So this is a brainchild of a guy named Lester Dill. He invented the bumper sticker, by the way. Anyway, he revolutionized all this advertising all along Route 66. Up here, this little underpass for the railroad. That's the underpass for the BNSF Railroad. It is built to carry the Frisco Railroad across Route 66. It's super narrow, clearance is only 13.5 feet. It gave the nickname Subway. And the story is a lot of trucks have to deflate their tires to get underneath that little trestle there. And just past our little train over here, this is the Carter and Lawson's Underpass Cafe and Service Station. Give it a little gift shop. It was opened in 1941 by Ed Lawson and O.E. Carter. It started as a gas station and they added the cafe later on. And the building standing today is the cafe, right? And the service station is just over here on the right where the grain silos are. I think if you look real carefully, we find the single island pump. It had four pumps. But no canopy. There it is. That sort of looked like before. Cafe here, right there. And the little pub station, and gas station right over here. On the other side of Interstate 44, we got the candy factory. That uh, little dude up there, that's Redmond's. And the new Philip 66. So if you want a lot of candy, you gotta cross over the highway, get some candy here at Redmond's. So on the right here, this is Stan Adams Service Station. Skelly Gas Station, opened in 1950 by Stan Adams. Then in the 1990s, it was converted to a little golf course. And the building here, I believe, was a little clubhouse. Maybe not, maybe that's the residence now, but anyway. It's a single bay garage, small office, no roof. Got two entrances and some restrooms. Hey, so these silos here, it's called the Midway Motel. All well, the bins of Route 66, right? It's converted to the Midway Motel in the 1950s. It used to have a icebox style standard station out here torn down a couple of years ago in 2020 the owners put these two big grain silos on the property and refurbished them into little airbnb rentals you can stay here if you want it's got that little pegasus right there for mobile 
So we're right past the bins. Route 66 ends here. So we got to go back to Redmond's Candy, head to the other side of Interstate 44 to continue. Hey, so we got a close up of Redmond's here, Redmond's Candy, right there. And this is the world's largest gift store, of course, because it's on Route 66 here. Make sure you get everything you need to take home for Christmas and to your loved ones. So you want to stop here if you want something. I think it's pretty cheap. Tombstone. So before you get back on Route 66, we're going to make a little detour to the left out of Redmond's because there's this really cool building I want to show you down here in the corner. So here we are in the town of Phillipsburg. And up here on the left is a really bitchin' building. Look at that, Phillipsburg, Missouri, established in 1850. Hey, we got the railroad tracks here, right behind Redmond's. This old building, it's called the Old Phillipsburg General Store. It's this two-story brick building right next to where the train depot is located, built around 1880. It's got these great ghost signs here, like soda, water bottles, all sorts of other cool stuff. So it used to be home of the Independent Order of Odd Fellows, the IOOF, little secret society founded in 1819. Man, this guy's really cool. Anyway, used to uh, also house the Farmer State Bank. It opened in 1906 and closed during the market crash of 1929. So if you have a chance, it's this old 1880s building right on the depot. So you know it's gotta be one of the oldest buildings in town out here. Got the Conway Fire Department and we also have the little Phillipsburg Post Office and a bunch of school stuff headed back towards Redmond. Well, that's a cool little detour, but we're back on Route 66 Byway here. We're gonna check out an old schoolhouse. So back on the byway for Route 66, right up here on the left of this abandoned RV and that Ford right here. This is the old schoolhouse and gymnasium right over here. These cars have not moved in so long. Anyway, the school was built in 1937, and destroyed by fire in 1985. Now we just have a bunch of vines and cool cars from TV show Pixar's Cars. That's pretty cool. Old RB, abandoned. Right, we're gonna head up here a little more to a place called the Timber Hill Service Station. So now we're on the little Route 66 bypass on the south side of Interstate 44. This is the Timber Hill Service Station. It's got these two big bay garages here. It's got the office in front, little tiered roof, and up here, the little gas pumps you'd find here, little foundation. There we go. He's all abandoned now. That would be our Timber Hill service station. And up here is a little roadside park with a great little memorial thing we got to look at. So along the highway, just past the Timber Hill Station, we have a historic marker. Anyway, this used to be a big roadside park with picnic tables and fire rings, all kinds of cool stuff. But today it's just this big marker. Let's see what it says. The land for this roadside park was donated by Maud and Snyder. Little Route 66 marker. Hey, over here is an old gas station across the street. It's the Twin Oaks Cabins 
in Texaco. This guy was built in the 1930s. Got our typical craftsman style gas station. It was super popular in that little decade of time. So the pumps were underneath that little canopy here. See that? And behind it were some old cabins. And a little tower here. That tower that was built to hide the water tank of our little establishment here. Look at that. So the cabin used to rent is down here. Take a look. All right. Twin Oaks Cabins in Texaco. I'm going to guess there was a Texaco sign on this post here a long time ago. Here are the Pump Island. You just drive up and get your little orange juice or milk. Pump some gas. Don't get rained on. Here's one of the old cabins used to rent right here. There's Interstate 44 out there, so nobody stayed here in quite a long time. There's some foundations here. Over here, it looks like they're refurbishing it. Hopefully nobody lives there today. Let's take a peek inside. So what it's like to rent one of these old cabins on Route 66. Right, it's all locked up, but this is all down. All right, there's your cabin. Rental. You look in the front door through the window. See what's here. All right, so that's uh, the front area. Sure, it had a little restroom and a little kitchenette. Lots of fun stuff. There's a little tower. Hit the water tank. Anyway, it's a cute little place. On the Route 66 here, out in Phillipsburg. We'll kind of continue westward. Let's see what else will you find? This is the Church of Christ on Route 66. Conway Church of Christ. Alright, so that's where we're kind of headed right into Conway now from Phillipsburg. So the roads can have a little tiny bearing road to the left, but on the right, this is what you want to see. Right here. Route 66. And this used to be called Top of the Ozarks. Looks like it's all fixed up. There we go. That building, I think, is the last building standing. So it burned down in the 1950s. And the uh, location moved up to Phillipsburg here. Anyway, there you go. That guy's called the Top of the Ozarks. That's the final site right here. We got one more location, just about 0.2 miles down the road on the left. Here's a cool little place. There we go. This building right up here on the left is our last little stop. It's called Kenneth Alexander's Ice Cream Shop. Right there. It's all been redone, of course. A little single story. Used to have a gray gable roof on top, but it looks like it's all fixed up. Anyway, that was called Kenneth Alexander's Ice Cream Shop, right here. Anyway, hope you like that little tour, and we're headed down Route 66. We're going to get into the heart of Conway now. Check out what we find there. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.